Okay, guys, just a few more blocks. And look at this. Our brand new house is complete. Show us around. Yeah, I want to see the inside. Okay, look, everyone come right this way. And if you look to the left, I have a bed for the TV woman. And over here is my bed. And I'm sorry, catnap, you don't really have a bed. What? How do I not have a bed? Uh, well, I kind of just forgot. Hey, I mean, you could like uh, sleep in this corner or something. You're just a cat after all. Uh, give me just a second. I'll get us a bed. I need a big old bed right here. Oh, wait, you can't <laughs> just put your bed in the middle, catnap. Are you serious? Are you serious? You didn't give me a bed. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, look at this too. We also have these super cool chests. And actually, I'm going to put all of my super valuable redstone dust in there. Ooh, I'm going to put all of Catnap's beds in his. Oh, my bed. Yeah, but you can just put whatever you want in these chests, guys. Our house is super, super safe. Look, I even have these really cool doors in the front so no one can even break in. Yeah, and we're so far away from everyone. No one's going to bother us. Yeah, nobody. Okay, guys. Well, what else do you think we should do today? Actually, I wanted to go find a dog. Can you take me, TV man? Oh, yeah, I guess we we can go ahead and uh, find a dog, TV Woman. Uh, Catnap, what are you going to do? I'm going to go trade with the villagers nearby. Okay, well, you have fun with that. Come on, TV Woman. Let's go ahead and find a dog. Let's go. Well, TV Woman, where do you think a dog could even be at? There's usually a lot of them in the forest, right? Yeah, there usually is. Hey, do you think I can name it Sparky? Uh, yeah, you can name it Sparky. I think that's a great name for a dog. Cute. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, I'm just seeing a bunch of sheep so far. I'm not seeing any dogs anywhere. I feel like one has to be really close, though, TV Woman. Yeah. I agree. <gasps> Look. Oh, wait. You found one. Oh, gosh. This is attacking all the sheeps. That one's ours. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab him. Let me just give him a couple of bones. And oh, man. He's really mad right now. Get him. You know, just let him uh, eat the sheep real quick. I mean, he is a wolf after all. I know, but he can't keep eating the sheep. The sheep need to live too. Well, I mean, he's really hungry. Oh, my gosh. Look at his eyes. Yeah. Once he's done eating the sheep, then I guess we should be able to get him with no problem. He's so angry. Oh, my gosh. There's still one more sheep. Come on, Mr. Dog. Take him out so you can be our dog forever. <sighs> Mr. Doggy. There we go. Okay, now we have him as our dog. We can head back to our base, TV woman. Okay, sounds good. But we need to give him a name tag. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. Can you grab one for him real quick? Yep. I got it. Okay, TV woman. I think we're really, really close to our base. And look, there it is right there. Perfect. Come on, Sparky. Okay, let's just go. And oh, hey, Catnap, you're back already. Hey, guys, what's up? Is that a dog? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is our super cool dog. He's really cute. I named him Sparky. <laughs> Wait, are you hissing at the dog? Hey, Catnap, stop it. No, you can't hiss at the dog. This is our dog. Get this dog out of here. I hate dogs. No, if you want to stay at our house, you're going to have to make friends with a dog. Look, he's not even trying to attack you. He's just being nice. Uh, fine. He actually is kind of cute. Well, anyways, I think I want to go ahead and put some of this meat I collected in the chest. And, uh, guys? Oh, yeah. no. What's going on? I don't see any of my stuff in my chest. Where'd all my redstone go? What the heck? Somebody robbed us. Yeah, what the heck? Didn't you put my bed in here? Exactly. I put a whole bunch of them well it looks like all your stupid beds are still in here but if there's not any on the other side they must have robbed you too holy cow it's a lot of beds and wait a second where'd your diamonds go catnap were they even in the chest yeah i did um i don't know where they went though oh no this isn't good at all guys i wonder what could have happened someone stole from us yeah someone definitely did steal from us you know what guys i have a really good idea so this won't happen again what is it what we need to build a super secret base that way no one will be able to find it a secret base but how will we do that? Yeah. Catnap, do you actually know where that village is that you were at earlier? Can you just take us there? Yeah, sure. This way. Okay, what we're going to do is build a super secret base inside this village and no one's going to be able to find it. That way we can actually hide all our stuff. That's a great idea. Yeah, it's pretty smart. And Catnap, is this the village you were at earlier? Yes, it is. Uh, What are we doing here? Well, actually, I'm thinking we could use one of these houses to make our super secret base. That's a pretty smart idea, but uh, which house? Well, TV woman, why don't you go ahead and pick a house that you think is your favorite? Let's do this little one. Okay, I guess we can do this little one right here. Let's just go ahead and clear out some of the space because we're not really going to need any of it. It's nice and cozy in here. Yeah, it is nice and cozy, but we're going to need a lot more space. So I'm thinking the first thing we could do is put a secret trap door over here. A secret trap door? What is that? Well, a secret trap door is basically a block that looks like a normal thing, but as soon as you press it, it opens like a trap door. So you can just go inside. That is so cool. Yeah, that's a smart idea. So let me just go ahead and find what. Okay, look, here's a secret wooden trap door, and I can place it up against this. And as soon as I press it, I should be able to drop inside. And yes, guys, look at that. I can just drop in. That was awesome. It's cramped in here. Yeah, it is a little bit cramped right now. Okay, we're going to need a bit more space, but we probably also need a way to make sure people won't find this. Uh, Maybe we could change out this door to be something else. Like what? Let's see. What type of doors do we have? Oh, wait, I have a really good idea. What we're going to do is put down one of these normal doors, but then we're going to put a barricade on the outside. A barricade? What is that going to do? Well, basically, it stops people from coming in. Look, exactly what happened to you. But how are you going to get in? 
well we're gonna have a secret way to get it what we're gonna do is break a few of these blocks and actually maybe we can even put like a dirt block back here and what we're gonna have to do is jump on this grass block here jump to the top one and then i'll go ahead and put another secret trap door up here that is such a good idea nobody's gonna find this Ooh, double trap door and even if they do end up finding it they're not gonna know how to get through the other trap door exactly okay so first off let's go ahead and jump into the trap door and then we can build up the first area that we're actually gonna have for people to get into what do you want this first area to be i'm thinking this first area could be like a super big parkour room because they want to get to our secret base they're gonna have to be good at parkour sheesh i'm not very good at parkour i hope i can make it yeah you aren't very good at parkour well hopefully you'll get better at a time right fingers crossed okay and just to make sure none of us actually get hurt when we jump down from that i'm gonna put one block of water here that way we can just land inside of it Ugh, i hate water oh yeah i guess you kind of do hate water since you are a cat well what if i put a slime block there would that be better that's a zillion times better like a trampoline yeah exactly it'll be just like a trampoline it's kind of like one of my hairballs uh that's Ew. totally disgusting catnap <laughs> okay the next thing we need to do is make the parkour area so all i'm gonna do is set up a bunch of this floor to be lava but first i need to clear out a space so i'll select two different points set it all to be zero and now for this bottom layer this is where i'm actually gonna make it all lava at and i can do this with commands too pretty easily next up i actually need to add in some of the parkour and i'm thinking we can do like some pretty uh basic parkour with stones and oh my gosh you two missed the first jump how is that even possible i thought it was supposed to be hard uh, i literally just saw the both of you miss it what are you talking about look i made it you just missed it too no i didn't what? miss it i was going to place blocks what are you talking about uh -huh. okay look let me just go ahead and add in some more jumps and uh once i'm done adding in these jumps then you guys can test it out to see if it's good enough okay sounds good let me just throw in a few more of these blocks to the corner and i'm thinking we can have it end right over here okay can you guys go ahead and try out the parkour sure here goes nothing we've been trying let's see if the both of you guys can do it and okay it looks like the tv was doing pretty good and catnap ah. already fell in okay i think this parkour is a little too difficult for you Ugh. No way, I'm making uh, it. Yeah, you're actually doing pretty uh, good, but it looks like Catnap uh, already missed a few jumps. Uh, uh, I made it! Perfect. Okay, if both of you guys actually made it in, that means it's a little bit too easy. So what I'm going to do is change a few of these blocks to be uh, ice. Is they going to build? Yeah, because, you know, if you jump on ice, it's like super, super slippery. So like if I jump here, it's a lot harder to jump and you might like go flying into the lava. That seems a little tricky. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point, TV one. We don't want anyone to sneak into our base. Is there going to be a way that we can get in, though? Uh, yeah, you're going to have to do the parkour. If you fall in the lava, it's kind of your own fault. Seriously? Okay, well, once they actually pass that parkour, that's not going to be the end of it because we're going to have a giant laser room a laser room like we're gonna have to dodge lasers yeah basically we're gonna have to dodge lasers but i might make a secret passageway that only we know about so we can get through that sounds like a good idea because i'm not very good at dodging lasers i have a laser uh yeah that's not the right kind of laser though cat now we're using these lasers uh these lasers aren't red well yeah these lasers might not be red but honestly they're way stronger than red lasers look do you want to try them out real quick sure i guess uh do i just walk into it no you don't walk Hey, T Wood, do you have like a spawn egg or anything? Yeah, I have a pig one. Oh, perfect. Look, let me just go ahead and punch this pig. And look, he instantly got taken out. How do I know you just hit him to death? You think I hit him to death in one punch, Catnap? Are you dumb? I mean, I could. Uh, no, you couldn't. Uh, yeah, I could. But if you don't believe me, just go ahead and put one of the pigs in there yourself and you can try it out. I'll do one better. I'll hop in there. Uh, okay. Well, I guess you can hop in there if you want. Oh, what the heck? This thing hurts. Yeah, see, I told you the lasers hurt you. Well, let me just go ahead and add a few different lasers in here. I'm gonna put a few on the ground too that they have to jump over. This is gonna be a really, really hard hallway for them to have to get through. Yeah, especially yeah, if they're insane. super tall. Yeah, if they are super tall, it's definitely gonna be hard, but I think we should be fine. Yeah, but uh, you said we're gonna have like a secret way to get through here? What's that? Yeah, I'm thinking what we could do is have a secret way. Maybe we could have like a hidden door over here. Are we gonna have a door on this other side for them to like get through? And No, Catnap, they're just gonna walk straight into the wall. Obviously, we're gonna have a door. All right, well, let's start putting the door. I'll work on that, you do that. Okay, let me go ahead and grab one of these secret wooden doors and that looks pretty good right tv woman this does look super good but wait a second do you think a wooden door is a little too simple do you think maybe i should use an iron one an iron door i mean it couldn't hurt okay so let me go ahead and grab a secret iron door and what we could do is put like a hidden button somewhere so i'll put down the iron door here and i'm thinking on the top we could put down the hidden lever and as soon as you press this thing up here the door will open up that was awesome 
awesome. And then we'll have this back hallway go all the way around the lasers. And we should be able to connect to where catnap is. Uh, let me go ahead and see how far we are. And we're still next to the laser catnap. How much further do we have to go? You're really close. You're like two blocks off. Two blocks off. Let me go this way. And okay, yeah, there we go. Maybe I'll go back a few more. That way it actually lines up a little bit in front of the door. Yeah, I'd go like five more. Uh, Five more. I think I'm just going to go one more like that. Oh, you want to be like right there. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Like right in front of the door. And then are you going to use the trick doors right there too? Yeah, I'm guessing we could also do one of those. And actually, it might make more sense just to use normal ghost blocks. Yeah, that would make sense. So let me just put down a few rows of ghost blocks. This way we could actually just walk through them. Because once you're over on this side, it doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, they don't look that different. Let me just make sure this door is closed up. And okay, we have the first two rooms. We have the parkour. And we also have the laser room. But we're going to have to keep building stuff. Because whether it to be super difficult for anyone to get inside. What do you think we should build next? Yeah. What I'm thinking we do for the next room is make like a secret lava room. Secret lava room? What does that even mean? Well, what I'm thinking we do is have a few different areas of lava and one of the corners is going to have fake lava. That way we can just sneak through. That sounds so sneaky. Yeah, it's going to be really, really good. Well, the first thing we need to do is clear out the room. So let me just set this to zero and then I should be able to stack it like 20 blocks back. And now we have a ginormous room. Sheesh, this is a big room. And let me just make sure to clear this wall so they're both even. And okay, we're going to have a few different places with lava. Let's go ahead and grab some buckets. I'm thinking in order to actually make this, what we could do is just carve out some little areas like this, place the lava behind it. And which one of these walls do you actually think should be like the real one? Like the one we use with fake lava? Yeah, the one we use with fake lava. That way we can actually get through. Um, How about this wall right here? This wall right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Hey, Tiva, since you're already over there, do you think you can build it? Sure, I'm on it. And uh, Catnap, can you go ahead and add in some of the more real lava that people would actually jump into? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, if over here, I'm going to put more of this real lava and okay, let me just add in a few more to this side. And I think we should have like at least eight of them. That way someone's actually going to have to pick between a lot of different options. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, I think we added enough of these lava walls. We should be pretty much good, right? Yeah, this is looking so cool. Okay, and this should be the fake one over here. So let me just make sure there's nothing in the back. And whenever you're in actually survival mode, you should just be able to swim through. That was so fun. We should put some water over here so we're not fire. Uh, uh, you're not going to be on fire because it's fake lava. Oh, it's fake lava. I thought you were doing real lava. But you want to run through real lava? Are you crazy? Uh, yeah. It's a lot better than just being in water. I'll tell you that much. That literally doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, you're kind of just yapping right now. Oh, it definitely makes sense. Water sucks. I hate that stuff. I'd rather be in lava. Okay, well, for the next room, what I'm thinking is we added like some bookshelves to the outside and in one of the spots we could throw in, like a fake lever. Where is the lever going to lead to? The lever is going to lead to another secret room. There's going to be like secret secret rooms and secret rooms and secret rooms. That way no one can sneak inside. That is so many secret rooms. How many secret rooms do we need? Uh, enough to make sure we don't get robbed from again. Okay, now that we have all in the bookshelves, we're gonna have to add in a fake lever. And I'm thinking for the lever, I'm gonna put it all the way back here. And basically the way this thing works, so let me just go ahead and get some redstone to show you. If I place it down here and then flick the lever, the redstone will just activate. That's super cool, but won't people see the lever? Uh, how would they be able to see the lever? It it's literally invisible. But won't people see this little room in the redstone and be like, hey, what the heck is that? Well, there's not going to be a room there. Look at this. It's all closed off now. You don't even know where it is. Oh, you're going to use ghost blocks. That's so smart. Uh, I'm not even using ghost blocks, but uh, sure, TV woman. And actually, it's going to connect all the way back over here to another secret trap door. So let me just go ahead and connect all the redstone to where that trap door is. You know how to connect all the redstone? That is so cool. Okay, let me just connect it with a few more pieces of redstone. And, oh gosh, wait, it doesn't go far enough. Okay, I'll add up one of these repeaters and now it should have opened up. Let me just go ahead and test it out real quick. And yeah, I think it opened. Can I flick the lever? Uh, the lever is already on, TV woman. Oh, but where's the trap door? Oh, I see it. Yeah, the trap door is in the corner of the room. So let me just go ahead and connect it one more time. Per okay, everything should be set up for this. Super cool. Big the lever. Nothing's happening. The trap door already opened up, Catnap. If you come over here, you'll see the secret trap door right in this corner. Well, now it's just open. How do we close it? Well, right now it's literally closed. What are you talking about? Oh, Okay, there should be enough delay. Let me just go ahead and test this out. Come on, let's see. And yes, okay, now you can go down with no trouble at all, but you're gonna have to hit the button again if you wanna come through. So do you have to be super fast? Yeah, you're gonna have to be pretty fast, but I did add a decent amount of delay, so you should be able to make it there. Hit the lever. Let me throw in a few more of these redstone repeaters. That way there's like a lot of delay. And yeah, you guys should be good now. Honestly, if you can't make it over there that time, you probably don't deserve to go to our secret base. What the heck? 
And finally, once we get through all of this, this is where our actual room's gonna be. Whoa, we're gonna get an actual room? Is it gonna be like a living room or a bedroom? Well, I mean, it's gonna be a room like we had in our house. We're just gonna have some beds, some chests, and some other cool things. So let's go ahead and carve out a nice little space in here. Sounds good. But honestly, that last room was not very cool. So we're gonna make this one even cooler. Yeah, you're completely right, Tivu. So we probably should start decorating a bunch of this. I'm gonna make my area pink. Well, I mean, we're all gonna like share a big area, except Catnap. He doesn't get an area. Well, I'm gonna get a wall. Uh, you don't get an area because you're a cat and you don't even deserve to be here. Can I get a cat bed? Yeah, I mean, I guess you can get a cat bed. Is that okay with you, TV woman? Yeah, but his cat bed's going by your bed. Well, I don't want it by my bed. He stinks. Okay, so I'm gonna make this wall over here on the sides, my red wall, and I'm guessing you can have the other walls, TV woman. Okay, sounds good. I get this wall. Catnap's actually doing it on my wall. Oh, well, why don't you just go ahead and break his wall? We said he doesn't even get a color. I think he should get a color. I think it's only fair. Uh, fine, yeah, whatever. You can have part of that wall, cat. Now, me and the TV woman will share this last one. Fine. Okay, now that we have all the walls in place, let's go ahead and grab, like, a nice little couch that we can have, and we should probably also have a TV. We need the biggest TV they have. Yeah, we definitely do need the biggest TV, and I'm thinking for the couch, we'll just keep it, like, a neutral black color. What do you think? I think that works good. Okay, let me carve out a space in this wall, and actually, maybe we need to have a little bit bigger of a space. I don't know if this TV will fit in here. Seriously? I mean, we can't make this TV as big as we want, so let me just go ahead and carve out that piece and uh yeah it looks pretty good for a tv screen right that looks really good what are we gonna watch honestly i have no idea what we're gonna watch do you guys have any ideas mm -hmm. How about we watch Skibbity? Oh, yeah, we can definitely put Skibbity on the screen. And actually, I do even have one more idea for our base down here. What is it? What we could do is throw a secret area where our chests are going to be, like behind a painting. That is super sneaky, but how do we even do that? Well, all I need to do is throw in some size over here, cover this little tiny section up, throw some size on the other side, and once I put a painting down, it should just fill up this space. Whoa, that is so sneaky. And now that it's done, you can just walk straight through, and this is where we're going to have a bunch of our gear and stuff. So cool. Catnap, that means you can put all your beds in here. Yeah, I can put my stuff in here. Okay, T1, I'm thinking for all the floor, you make this out of oak planks. That way it just looks a bit nicer. Yeah, it's gonna match like the outside area. <laughs> They'll never know that I was the one that stole from them. Uh, wait a second, T1, did you just hear that? Yeah, that was Catnap. He said he stole from us. Hey, uh, Catnap, what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. I was just putting my bed down here. It's purple. Oh, you were just putting your bed down? I thought I heard you say something about like stealing or whatever. Yeah, hopefully no one steals from us again. Would that be awful? Oh, that's what you said. Okay, that makes sense to me. Okay, t but I think our little chest area looks pretty good, but wait a second. We forgot Sparky at the other house. We need to go get him. Oh, no. Let's go. Okay, Catnap, we're gonna be back. We're gonna go ahead and get Sparky, okay? All right, so good. Did you guys already uh, put your items in there? Oh, uh, no. We didn't have anything to actually put in there yet because we got our stuff stolen. Oh, uh, okay. Makes sense. But you can put your stuff in there. Yeah, I'll put my stuff in there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab Sparky, and I guess we can just take him to the base now, right, TV woman? Yeah, let's go. Come on, Sparky. Okay, and there's Sparky back. Okay, we're back, Catnap. Oh, hey, welcome back. Oh, it looks like you're filling up a bunch of stuff in your chest. I wonder what type of stuff you have in here. And wait, why is there so much redstone? And diamonds. Because I like redstone and diamonds, obviously. Wait, what? That kind of looks like the amount we had from earlier. Catnap, were you stealing from us? Uh, no. Catnap, come on. Just tell the truth. I promise you we are going to be bad. Uh, do you promise you won't be bad? Yeah, I promise I won't be mad, TV woman. I'm going to be mad. Oh, uh, she's going to be mad. Get me out of here. No. No, 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 Tifa, but come on, calm down. We need have to admit this. Fine, I won't do anything, Catnap, unless you're actually guilty. Fine, yes, I did steal from you guys. Wait, what? what you actually heck? stole from us? But, 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 I had a good reason for it. Uh, okay, then what's your reason? Come with me. Okay. Catnap, what are we doing over here? Well, this is actually what I wanted to show you guys. Whoa, wait, what in the world is this? Yeah, I've been working on it for quite some time. It's a big TV, and it's red because it's your favorite color. Wait, you wanted to build a big TV catnap? Why'd you just tell me? I would have given you my redstone for it. Because it's a surprise, duh. That's actually so nice of you, catnap. Yep. But you really should have told us. Just be honest next time. And that was a super fun adventure. Make sure to watch the next by clicking the video on screen. Goodbye. Bye.